As we switch over to Google Apps for Education, we can switch over some of the old forms that we used to do on Word documents. This is a form for Carmel High School for the intervention team, and teachers would need to fill this out. To do so, they'd get this email to them and they'd print it out and handwrite the answers, or they can do it in Word, save the file, and email it as an attachment. Sometimes when you would try and type in the document like this, the font size would be really tiny or it would be things wouldn't come out right. And as you typed in information in the areas down here, what would happen is it would turn into a two-page report and you'd have to like delete things. So it could be really frustrating to fill out. Now what we can do as we've moved to Google Apps for Education is we could actually use a Google form to collect the same sort of data. Here is an example of a Google form that contains all of the same form fields that were on the paper or the Word document that you just saw. So it has information to collect the name, the information, the grade, any interventions, the frequency, effectiveness, etc. Now teachers can fill this out pretty easily and then just press submit down at the bottom of the form. When you fill out forms, though, the information goes directly to a spreadsheet. This form hasn't been used so far, but you can see that um, it would be really tough to read all the information here, especially if you have a lot of text in the intervention parts here. It could get really cumbersome. And so what you actually want when you're going into this meeting is a document that is nice and easy to read, like the original Word document. So we're going to run a mail merge using an add-on called Autocrat and we're going to merge it onto this document here. So this is created in Google Docs and it's a template that has all the information that we want from the Google form, but it's gonna end up making a merge, pulling the data from each form submission to make a really nice um, paper document um, that could be online, it could be a PDF, it could be emailed, and it could also be printed out and look really good. So to, in order to do this, you need to start with a few things. So I'm going to go to my Google Drive, and here in this folder you can see that I have four things set up. The first thing I have right here down at the bottom is the CIT staff report update on progress. This is the Google form that was created to um, collect all the information. So again, it was um, this is the live view of the form right here but you build it from Google Forms and it looks something like this. So it just has all of the information that you need to collect. What you also need is the responses. So when you create a Google Form and you're in the editing view, you would click View Responses and you would then get your spreadsheet, which collects all of the data. Then the third thing you need is the template, and this is the Google Doc that is going to basically pull all the merged data into it. So here again is our template, the Google Doc. And the last thing I have is this folder. And this folder right here is where all of the merged documents that are created are going to go. So right now it's empty because we have no one's filled out the form, but what would happen is we'd have all the documents in here um, after they get merged. So someone will submit a form, it will automatically create this merge for us, and the final documents would end up being in this folder right here. So what we need to do after we have all of these things set up is we need to go to the spreadsheet. In the spreadsheet, you're going to choose add-ons. And in the add-on menu, we want to use Autocrat. And I have already got this add-on and added it to my list of add-ons. If you don't have Autocrat yet, you're going to go to Get Add-ons. And here in Get Add-ons, you can do a search for Autocrat. And when you find Autocrat, you're going to hover over it and you'll see a blue free sign. This is not Autocrat, but I've, um, I want to show you what it looks like. You'd click on free and then you'd say accept. And then once you're ready to use it, you're going to go to Add-ons and Autocrat and then launch. A window opens up on the right side of your screen, and the first step after we've launched it is we're going to run a new merge job. And it's going to ask us to name this merge job, and also to pick the folder, the documents, um, where everything is. Um, so first step, while we watch the little autocrat robot, is to choose a template. 
and we have already created our template. That was that um, Google Doc that I showed you. So I'm going to go to Drive, and then I'm going to find this document. Okay, so to find it, right now I have a bunch of folders. I'm going to type in the name. CIT staff update, and I'm going to do a search, and here is my document, my template, and I'm going to select that. Now it's going to ask me to name the merge job, so I'm going to call this CIT staff update on progress, and press set, and now it's going to ask me to select the sheet on my spreadsheet that contains the merge data. So this is where the form responses come, and it's the only sheet I actually have right now, so it's form responses one. Then it takes all the tags. Now what these tags are is notice in my template document, I created a bunch of things that have these little carrots or these little brackets around them, two on the front and two on the back. These are our merge tags. So what's going to happen is that the student's first name is going to be pulled over from the spreadsheet. So that was our um, one of our beginning columns. Um, it was one of the questions on the form. And then I have a space, and then last name, subject, etc. So this step right now that we're doing in Autocrat is we're matching up the tags with the sheet headers, what the information or the headers of each of our columns on our spreadsheet. So I'm going to do student first name. So I'm going to look and find my student first name header and then last name header. And I'm going to do this for all of the different um, tags, and you might need to scroll down to reach all of them. And then once you've done that, you will press save. All right, so now we get to choose how we want to name this document. And so you can use these data or these tags as placeholders. And so what you're going to do is you're going to title it something like CIT staff report update on progress by, and I'm going to put by the teacher, so let's do staff first name and staff last name. And I also want to include the student's name. So I'm going to do that last name first. And I'm going to put that at the beginning, comma, and then student first name, a colon, two spaces. So I have student last name, student first name. And it's going to name the document with the student's name. CIT staff report update on progress by, and it has the name of the teacher so we know who wrote it. And you can choose what type of document you want to create. You can choose a Google Doc or a PDF. For this project, I'm going to choose PDF. And then you can choose to email or share this merged document. So I want this email to go to the person who's going to be printing out these documents for the meetings. So I'm going to type in that person's email address. And then I'm going to give it a subject. So this is CIT staff report for and I'll do student first name and student last name. And you can type in a message. So this is the staff report for student last name by, let's say I want it by the staff name. Just copying and pasting that over. So it will send an email that says this in the title and the subject line. It will have that in the um, body of the email. And you can choose to include the merged document attached to this email. So I'm going to choose to attach it as a PDF file attachment. So it will be sent with the email. Then the next thing I want to do is actually go to Advanced Settings. Here in Advanced Settings, it's going to allow me to do conditional merges. So it will only merge if it was a certain date or a certain inf information in one of the columns. Um, I'm, I want to merge everything. But now I can choose a destination folder. And so I'm going to add my destination folder. And I want to call it the CIT Staff Progress Reports. And I'm going to press Select. And this was the folder that I showed you in my Google Drive a few minutes ago. And now I also want to check this box to run Autocrat when new forms are submitted. So every time the form is submitted, then the document will automatically merge. I don't have to worry about anything. 
So I'm going to check that and press save. All right, so we're not done yet. It hasn't run the merge, but I don't have anything to merge yet. So I'm going to go ahead and fill out the form just to see what it looks like and to give us some data. All right, so now when I go back to the form after submitting, filling out the form and submitting it, you can see that in the spreadsheet, the information's already here. So I'm gonna click Run Merge so you can see what happens. And right now, I have a lot of columns here. I can't see a whole bunch, but I'm gonna scroll over to the end. And right over here, you can see some added columns. These are Merge Document ID, URL, a link to the document, all this stuff. This information here tells me that the document has been merged. And I can look and see what the document looks like, so it will be sent to the email. But I can also click here to view it. And you can see that we have a really nice report that looks pretty good. Everything's filled out with the information that was on the Google form. And it's a nice um, document. And um, we can get to it just by clicking on the link on the spreadsheet. But also, if we go back to our Google Drive, we go back to this folder. This is the folder that I said I wanted the documents to go to. So if I open that up, you'll see this first document in here. And it's named how I wanted to name it. Now, if a person filled out the next Google form, then what's going to happen is it will automatically create this because we checked the box to make it run automatically or to trigger when the form was submitted. So now we can get nice data, we can get it emailed to us, and everything looks really great.